viewers so here we come again with our second video in q and uh, we are discussing with the same chapter that is measures of sandel tendency and today we will discuss about the topic of median and today i have chosen the topic of median under less than series so here we go so as you can see the problem related to the topic main topic median is already written on the board right so what is given we will talk about that and then consequently we will talk about the process which will include the formula and then application of the formula and then we will get the solution so starting with the median in continuous series with less than series so what median is actually it divides the given series into two equal parts so we will get to the theory later today we will do the numerical portion only so what is given in the question age which is in years and with the below why below because <coughs> we will talk about the less than series we will talk about the data below age 10 below age 20 below age 30 and so on and then in the less than data always cf is given which is known as cumulative frequency so cumulative frequency is given as 2 5 9 and so on so this is the data which is already given in the question so for finding the median and to apply the formula we need frequency so how to find the frequency we will talk about that class interval and frequency how to find the class interval as we can see we have the gap of 10 so we will take the intervals starting from 0 as the gap is 10 so as we start the class intervals the first one will be 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 and we will reach to 70 to 80 with this way Way to find continuous, uh, sorry, class intervals under continuous series, zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, up to so on. You can see the gap between the uh, between the every interval is ten. Why ten? That we have taken the hint from here, from the given data. So now we will continue the process because we need to find frequency. So what is the way to find frequency? We will focus on that. First number will be same. and how we will get the second number subtract next term which is 5 uh, we can calculate it as 5 minus 2 which is 3 next 9 minus 4 uh, 5 which is 4 12 minus 9 which is 3 14 minus 12 which is 2 15 minus 14 which is 1 Fifteen point five minus fifteen, which will give you zero point five, and fifteen point six minus fifteen point five, which will give you zero point one. So the first initial steps are done, in which we have included the calculation of class intervals and the cal calculation of frequency. <coughs> so now we will continue with the formula. complex but when you will keep on practicing you will find it easier so here it is the it notation is capital m l1 is a lower class interval n is the summation of frequency cf is cumulative frequency f is frequency and h is the class size so how to substitute all the values we will get into that now 
Firstly, we will find n by 2th item. So, we have to talk about n. What is n? n is the sum of frequency, which will be 15.6. You will add these values and you will get it, it as 15.6. So, you can uh, verify this answer with the last value of CF. These both must be equal, always. So, let's put in this. Answer is 7.8. So why we are calculating n by 2th item? Because we want the lower class to substitute here. And lower class will be solved only if we have n by 2th item. So 7 by uh, 7.8 will give you the uh, hint that how to uh, proceed further. So next 7.8. You will just move towards CF and you will just see the uh, closest part uh, of 7.8 which is closest so that is 9 so the formula will include 5 as CF and the third frequency will be you can see it is five, uh, 4 so F will be taken as 4 and CF will be taken as 5 so these are the numbers which is to substitute in the formula so now for L1 L1 will be chosen from the value from the class interval which is just as which is the closest uh, like as we have already uh, talked about this 9 that why we have chosen this uh, we will choose the class interval which is corresponding to 9 so this is the class interval from which we have to find L1 so you can see The lower class is 20 and n by 2. n by 2 we have already solved which is 7.8 and CF. You have to substitute the CF one step back. Not the exact same which we have followed in the previous calculation. So this will be chosen as F. CF sorry. And H is the class size. What is the size of the class? It is 10. So we will do this calculation. Let's complete it. So here it is, the answer, the final answer will be calculated from this formula. 7.8 minus 5 is 2.8 divided by 4 into 10. It will give you 20 plus 7. And 20 plus 7 will give you 27. So with this way, we have completed the calculation portion. And uh, it means practice only. If you will do more portions, uh, which will be same as this statement or any other statement uh, which will be related to the topic. So definitely you will uh, get experience and you will do better in the calculation.